Good morning, everyone. My name is Chuck Fuller, Tom Hart, and Lenny Estney. We're the select board that is now working before you. Before we get going today, one of the things we'd like to reinstall is the Pledge of Allegiance, and I did not know if anybody had a disagreement with that or not. All for it. All for it? Good. So let's do the Pledge of Allegiance first to start things off, and then we'll talk other business. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, first order of business. We probably need to choose a chair. I'll throw my name into the ring for that position. I guess that was the easy one. Okay, good. Um, so, second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yep. Good, thank you, gentlemen. Thank yeah, with the, whole, with the whole voting and voting thing, I like to get something to miss it, just yank it back and make sure I don't miss it. Okay. Going I'm going to start way. doing the folders first and uh, re reading the mail. So one of the things, just to let you know, in the future, we're going to be looking at having the reading done prior to the meeting so we don't have to waste people's time sitting there watching us reading stuff. Uh, we're going to try and implement that within the next couple weeks. In the intro, we've got readings. Come on, Chief. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good, 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 good. good.
Audrey, you had a chance to listen to the playback to see that mic is out. I did not. I thought that morning. Okay. Actually, with the analyst and the man, she might have a better. She said last week was much better. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Brandon from Lenhard also said. We could get a longer USB cable, and he recommended increasing it five feet at a time, so there's no degradation. I wish I get about six feet. Take a look at the Amazon. Pick up one and grab one. It's ten, twelve, or fifteen.
sorry, I didn't want this one. Uh, I did not uh, until it came today. I had not seen that. Okay. But I think um, between Audrey and I will follow up with and figure out what was going on. Because that looks like it was dumped in the road. It also sounds like it might have been coming from the cleanup once you just push it on the top. Right. Yeah, it says he went over uh, up in the road and it made open. I see it's been CC done. And there should be. Please, I'm not saying, you know, go. Because I haven't seen it. I apologize. I haven't seen it. I'm very glad it was Thursday or Friday, and it was a complaint or no through trucking violation. Oh, okay. Yes. Dumping a load right in front of the coal farm. Is that uh, Champion Hill, correct? Yes, I've been in contact with the uh, homeowner. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to like work on that. Thank you for a resolution, but I have any content. Thank you. Yep. I think that's everything you signed. Oh, David will let you know if you missed one. <laughs> Guarantee. Sure. Well, actually, we'll, we'll give that to David. We'll give just check that. Just make sure he's comfortable with your signature for important. You got any other one? No, I looked at the male one. I decided to come to stop. <laughs> And delivery service. All right. Let's start down. Uh, I'm sorry. All right. Go ahead. I can listen. Well, we need to get this pretty quick. So I'll let you finish that first. Don't want to jump in on it. Listed on here, they're common points. Common points. In many cases, it's the news Yeah, just so I have an idea. All right. I have done some block counting in the last few months. Like our church spelled robot. I 
last night on a computer for the last six on the TV who are was on call. Um, on the man who went to the door. He's a um, Department of Revenue oh. Administration. He was in the out of the room. Send money. Yep. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Make a motion to approve the minutes of May 13, 2021. Well, here's a second. Uh, sorry. All in favor, full rack. Aye. Right. And Lenny is. Yeah. I'm saying. Uh, <clears throat> make a motion to approve the manifest in the amount of $50,966.29 seconds. Well, here's a second. Uh, let me say that figure again. Yeah. $50,966.29. I thought I wrote down here. Just 966. I write it down. We're checking. We're checking. Oh, it is 966. My bad. Not a problem. Better shape. I'm sorry. Uh, get a motion, get a second. All in favor, full right. All right. All right, signature folder. Excuse me. Um, there were two respects in the minutes, I believe. One was the non public non seal. All right. Yep, you don't see this one. So. Yeah, I didn't know I so I handed it all out. Um, it was relatively short. My name is. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, make a motion to approve the non-public minutes of May 13, 2021. I'll second. All in favor? All right. Full right. And are those signed? Yeah, I believe they're running. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, thank you, Audrey. Uh, signature folder, there were veteran tax credit items, notice of intent to cut, yield tax assessments, and personal action item forms dealing with employees in the office. And there was an add on uh, for the pest control services contract to spray the powder coast beetle population in the crawl space below the town hall library building. Um, my question is, do either of you have any issues with that whatsoever? No. Ripping. So just a, a bit of a background. I met with the architect and the structural engineer last week with Chris Garcia, and they said, we recommend you do it as soon as possible. So, thank you. Review of the mail. Um, Charter Communications sent the town a notice of the spectrum price increase in effective early May. Last week, we referenced that in uh, an individual mailing that came to all individuals. There was a road complaint on Champion Hill Road, which PD is following, police department is following up on, uh, as we will, uh, and working with the uh, homeowner in that complaint. We received a Governor Wentworth Regional School District town assessments letter uh, laying out all of the assessments for the upcoming year. Uh, Effingham 
in the time period between July and November, we'll be paying $1.734 million to the school. Important to make sure our property taxes are coming in to support that. Camp Marist uh, is opening up this year. There's a notice basically saying they're opening up for 2021. 91A request. Uh, Ms. Reverend requested a contract with uh, Hanson Bridge for Snow Road Bridge. Did that go out, Audrey? No, I just repeated it yesterday. Okay, good. And that spelling on his uh, on the, the company name is H A N S E N. Uh, next up, administrator comments. All right. Okay. Um, as you saw in our previous control, the Garling and I have been working on an employee training form. It's important to have these things in the personnel files that might even be um, required by the Department of Labor. So we know when people move departments or have increases in number of hours per week, et cetera. And this is a new new process which we haven't previously done. Correct. Okay. Brand new process. Um, a we locked this here a couple of weeks ago. I think they have the TV all up and running now as far as the camera access. Um, I found out that they do computer wiring and cabling, and I um, asked him, they do all cat six. I asked him for a quote for a couple more drops in this room. So um, you can potentially have a computer at that wall put in if you wanted to, and over here. Because right now, for example, in this meeting, I put the minutes on a jump drive, and I'm getting used to my minutes. Um, and have to bring them to my computer, and that's a little bit antiquated process. So we're looking at that. Um, and then also, Barbara is now set up in my office, and um, I have a computer over there ready for her, but I have nobody to plug it in. And near my desk is also a tangle of, um, it's a little um, cup, and the tangle of cables there, as well as the cables, as you're aware, in the computer room. Are not labeled, so he will do all of that for fifteen hundred dollars. He'll do the labeling on that stuff. Yep, he'll. Um, That's worth it, right there. Pick stuff up. Yeah, I brought him back and showed him. And, yeah, yeah, just for everybody that's listening to what I've been describing, when we had some updated installation by Consolidated Communications uh, in the wiring of the office here for the new phone system. They removed all the labeling for all the cables that came into the junction box in the utility room. And I actually started working on that with an electrician. And after three hours, we gave up due to the volume of the mess. And so if we can get that done and identify that'd be great. Okay. Um, we do have a call into the electrician regarding several um, ballasts that are out. Um, there's two in this room. Randy replaced the light bulbs, nothing happened. Um, um, it'll be really helpful because the light and like my office blinked for about an hour. Hi, okay, Randy. I have an email into the Department of Revenue because the um, petition warrant article that was approved for elderly exemption was not. Um, it didn't cover all the things it needed to. It had an asset amount, um, but it didn't have assets for a single and married. It only had um, assets for married. So I've asked um, how to resolve that. Uh, so I'm waiting for their guidance before we go and incur legal costs for their guidance. Um, as I mentioned last week, we're preparing for the audit. I've only heard from one department, so I'll probably post them again. The accountant is here tomorrow to work with um, our capital asset requirements and work with Darlene as she's um, learning to balance out the 2021 goes smoother. Once that happens and she can update, we can provide you reports with um, revenues and expenses. Our goal is. Um, June 1st to start giving all the departments their actual budget and the board of selectmen a monthly report of revenues 
not money in the bank, etc. Three things right off the list. Cool. <clears throat> um, Wednesday afternoon, I'm meeting with the new and the prior treasurer, and I reached out to the bank in Hampshire to find out how to do that transition to make sure all those paychecks get by next week. And she actually offered to stop by. We're still waiting to learn who the assistant treasurer is. And I'm recommending that you move your June 1st meeting to June 2nd because of Memorial Day. Day. You may want to take that into consideration. Um, I am on vacation next Wednesday and Thursday. And for the time being, does anybody have any issues with moving the meeting to Wednesday? Same time? No. Okay. We'll put that down. We can change the calendar on Wednesday. That's all I have. All right. Selectman's comments, reports. Mr. Hart. Yeah. I'm going to see you Thursday. The only thing I got today is the uh, sale of the Wood Water Transfer Station on the United Water Bell last week. Uh, did you have a date when that was coming in, Audrey? No. Okay. I'll look out for you. Yep. That's about it. I'm just saying that you like to be All right. Good. It's off to the Oh. Where are you going? Lenny. Well, let's see what I was asked Sunday. Uh, Kevin Cody is on the transfer state. Where's the sealer? So I can get going. I'll bring it up. Yeah, yeah. I learned from last week. Um, Snow Road. Um, have you been down? From your house down to towards the transfer station. Oh yeah, every day. With a uh, great ditch that um, they destroyed the stone walls up there in four or five places, which is totally illegal. Yeah. You can't move a stone wall. We will take a look at that. Um, there was nothing done in the recent. So this has been down over the last. No, year. this is this is fresh. This oh, is fresh. Yeah. All right. We'll take a look at that. And of course, the piles were brought up. I'm meeting. So. And Audrey's are the, yeah, the sand piles on the side of the road left without being picked up. Yeah. Audrey's already reached out yeah. to the damage brothers on that. Okay. There was one property owner who requested that they're able to keep that material and actually have Evans brought more material. And that was um, the first. Something school. First normal school. Normal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they get a pile right in front of the school. They get a low spot. They'd like to fill in. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So, I so I have you agreed. getting back to them or? I did. I went to okay. Evans yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you didn't get back to the normal school. I told so, her I didn't see a problem with it. Yeah. Okay. And I gave um, Evans her phone number to contact her directly. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the stone wall, I could come back to honest. Mm -hmm. We need to take some pictures of that. Yeah. We get it. Okay. Well, my little foot probably didn't take good pictures. Uh, <laughs> now that you mentioned it, I happen to drive by that on rail I will uh, I'll see what I can do and I'll run the picture fire. And that road is pretty rough. So they want to grade it. It is just grade it. Well, it's this, but I wouldn't say it's graded. It is it's actually graded. They had they had a whole bunch of gravel to it in one of the yeah. areas that were problem areas. Um, the nice thing is the gravel has got enough stone in it that we should be able to keep the 40 mile an hour people from driving down that dirt road so fast. Yeah. So we do have quite a few of them do not. So. Okay. And I do have a question in the town report. Um, for legal fees, page, page 43, um, legal expense, we appropriated 30000 and said and spent 26445 
when you go to page 72, it said that uh, the legal expense is $60,110. Don't have an answer why there's a difference in those. We'll have to take a look at that. Hopefully by next week. We can, I, just, I can I can speculate, but um, I have to confirm it. Some of the legal fees were for planning and zoning issues, and may have been in their um, contract with services line item. I believe that's where some of the legal fees were budgeted for those two departments. Okay. Well, I will there. Just, let's, let's just look into that so we can yes. provide a little more detail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Mike? Uh, we had a collection box at town meeting for the sixth graders. Yep. Does the town they still do the those certificates? We do um, that. what has happened the last two years is I have actually worked with Patty. Yep. And Patty is actually producing the certificates. She's got a nice template and everything. Yep. And then we typically have signed right. Right. those. Um, she hasn't reached out to me this year to provide anything. Okay. I don't know if it's because of COVID or what, but um, you want to follow up on that with her and sure. ask? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I think it's, okay. worth, it's worth us recognizing things moving up. The uh, the town, the selectmen used to, well, they bought them uh, just to buy a dictionary, but then one year we bought them little calculators. I don't know if the I think we should I have done that too. Yes, we great. haven't done that, I don't think, in the last couple of years. Yeah. Patty had approached me earlier this year um, about um, helping to fund a swag bag called the swag bag yes. budget. Yeah. And her estimated price on the entire thing was three hundred dollars. And I brought that up at a previous meeting about having the town contribute toward that and it was taken. So um and then yeah, I think we did very well in the collection box. I think there was two hundred and eighty-eight dollars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Patty told me like three hundred. Yeah, to do that. So I'm pretty much covered that whole thing this year. Right. But I think for next year, yeah, we we'll just we make sure we get it identified and make sure we that. Okay. All I get right now. All right. How much on that box, Larry? Two eighty-eight. That was surprised. Great. Yeah. Thank you to all the people that were there and donated. Thank you to people who set it up. Just box and sign on. I've got it. It's not going to go in here. No. The fact that it was there, I thought it was Um. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. First off, Snow Road Bridge closing. Uh, the contractor notified us on Monday morning that they were pulling their equipment from another job that wouldn't be here till Wednesday. We asked them to delay it one day to Thursday so we could utilize the normal processing transfer station on Wednesday. And they agreed to that. They will be providing the detour signage um, from Route 153 south and then up Calker Hill Road down Snow Road to the station. Uh, Action Ambulance, uh, John Hatch, Vice President, would like to come in and update the board on what coverage the town of Effingham is enjoying today. Um, and he also heard about some of the information at the meeting on Saturday that might have been not totally accurate. He wants to correct the record. He wants to meet Lenny. And he was wondering if we could have him in next week at 10 during our meeting. I don't have a problem. No. But Audrey, can, you, can you do that? And do you have John's contact? Okay, okay. just let him know that if you would. Thank you. All right. Uh, congratulations to all the elected people, employees, volunteers supporting the town business. If it wasn't for the volunteers and the willing to, willingness to invest the time, uh, the town would be in tough shape. So we thank you for that. Additionally, I would like to take a moment to thank Mike Cahallon um, for his dedicated years of service to the town of Effingham. 
He spent years investing his time and volunteering. He acted on zoning board adjustment, planning board, budget committee, other boards and commissions, leading up to the chairperson of the select board for the last few years. He has knowledge and passion about how a municipality should be effectively operated and probably has better knowledge than anybody I know of in town. While he and I have had our different points of view over different items over time, when it came to the big and important items on behalf of all of the town people of Effingham, we worked together to overcome them. At the end of the day, the town moved forward in a positive direction. Mike, your leadership of the Board of Selectmen in the last two years has led the town in turning around the direction of the finances. We're now headed in a positive direction rather than going down. The COVID pandemic did not help us, but it did not slow the board down. The town is now more fiscally responsible and on more solid financial footing than it's been in years. The numerous project activities that you have taken the lead on are impressive. I actually stopped counting at 17 different projects that are in an active process of one form or another. We know the job is not done yet. There's things that are in active year today. And as we move forward, the majority of your ongoing work in the direction we're headed will be continued if I can help. Again, I'd like to thank Mike for his time. The reminder from a public standpoint, the when I came on this board um, a couple of years ago, I was looking at a board that had been involved in a number of different things. But unfortunately, there were a whole lot of things that weren't being looked at or handled. And over the last two years, we've started to dive into a lot of those and literally tighten up the capability of the town. There's a lot of work that goes into play. Um, this is an active board from a standpoint of doing the work. And we sure look forward to having Lenny's involvement, helping to share the workload. In the coming weeks, you'll see more about what is going to be worked on by the select board in an effort to provide communication transparency. The word came through from the town meeting the other day, more transparency is needed. Got it. Got it. All right. That's what I had for my part of it. Old business. Do we have any old business? Excuse me. Um, on the Snow Road Bridge closing, um, I found a list um, on my bulletin board that was there prior to me coming of departments that should be notified when we do a road closing. Yep. Um, the police department, the fire department, the ambulance, the school, um, in this case, waste management. So I don't necessarily have contacts for all of them. I can start trying to reach out. Um, so we need to take that into consideration. And we probably need to get those lists updated too, so we don't contact people. Right, there's no contacts on them, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, if you could work on that, that would be great. And we'll let them uh, know. Good news is one of them. Audrey, I think, so the, between me and Randy, for the emergency services anyway, we can take care of those notifications. It's really gonna be one phone call to dispatch. Okay. Uh, so what's the date for the closure? Thursday. This coming Thursday? This coming Thursday. All right. To approximately July 1st. So if they take care of the EMS related side of the stuff, that leaves just what the school district. Pretty much, and in this case, waste management. Okay. So. And Mark has let waste management know when he called them the other day, but he does not think the message got through. Correct. Um, so we probably need to, to call Pete and just to make sure he's fully aware of it, let those folks know. Um, they'll come up Culver Hill for a while. Oh, I don't. The bus doesn't go up there. No, it goes. It stops in the corner. Right, right the historical society. Yeah, and then I think it stops at Culver Hill. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Old business. Tom, did you have anything? Nope. All right. Office reopening hours and public access. Um, over the last month, month and a half, we've been kicking this topic around. Excuse me, Scott. Can you get the internet? Yes, please, if she can. Deanna, if you're listening, could you come in? I can't hear her crutches anymore. She told me you were heading up. Crutches? <laughs> yeah, she broke a foot at me. Sorry. I can't run. Two months ago. Huh? I see it's a walk. So, I can't run the rope recovery. Oh, 
Before we get going, is Sorry. the is Sorry. the microphone working better than it has in the past with this new microphone? From what you can hear online? Yes. I have trouble understanding Lenny. <laughs> okay. We haven't trained him yet. <laughs> we haven't trained him yet. Exactly. It's the mask. Uh -huh. Take it off. Pretty good, thank you. Okay, subject of reopening the office, changing office hours, staffing the changes uh, has been worked on with the employees within the office and was starting to be briefly presented to the select board last week, but we asked that to be put on hold until we could get Lenny in here as the new selectman to, uh, to be part of that discussion. So I'm going to turn it over to Deanna and Audrey, based on the work you've done. We reviewed um, over a dozen towns and we looked at their hours and their um, rules and regulations. And some of the towns are transacting business out of their picnic tables. Some of them, one of them was by phone only. Several have only appointments. And there's a combination thereof. And we looked at um, similar size offices and offices close to us. And most of them are open two to four days per week. So we're recommending that the town clerk change her hours Monday through Thursday. There's work that's done prior to the um, public being having an appointment and they're going to adjust their hours. So appointments can be taken Monday and Wednesday at 8 a.m. rather than 9. And hopefully that helps the citizens who need to get in early in the morning before they go to work. Also, she's extending Tuesday until 6 p.m. by confirmed appointment only. If you don't have an appointment and no, there's no appointments after four o'clock, don't expect someone to be here. You need to have a confirmed appointment. And I'm recommending that we stay in. Go ahead. Can we, we mentioned last week the six o'clock time period being summer hours. Mm -hmm. um, and we would revisit that based on safety um, with one person being in the building after dark during cold months. So while this is recommended schedule today, that, that one to six on Tuesdays is a summer schedule until further discussion, mm -hmm. the way I had understood. Right, yes. And, and yes, we're still requiring an appointment. Um, if you need a dump sticker, you know, we're, we're really trying to work with everyone. If you ring the doorbell, we'll run outside and do the dump sticker. But if you have a registration, a new vehicle, Please make an appointment with the town clerk for all appointments, you know, all time frames. And basically, um, the selectman's office would like to stay on Monday through Thursday with the town clerk and change our closed day from Wednesday to Friday. So the town hall will be totally closed on Fridays. And as I understand it, the number of people coming in here on Friday is like slim to none. On most yes, Fridays. it's the slowest day. Okay. And would it be fair to say that the activity coming into the building or wanting to come into the building, 90, 95% of it's related to the tax collector, town clerk office, not the selection Definitely. office? Definitely. Yes. Okay. Good. That's our recommendation. Any discussion? Oh, yeah. On your um, town clerk tax collector appointments required, mass required, and two people in the lobby now? Two people, that's when they come together. Okay. All right. Yeah. Lenny? Lenny? If they're coming, they can come right to your window. They, no, we're not still stopping in the hall. We're still keeping them in the hallway. Mm -hmm. You are? Yep. For a couple more months, we're going to revisit it at the end of July. So this is um, how it is until we're, until um, 
the end of July. And then that's gonna give us time to clean out that hallway and you know set up the correct safety precautions between people. Well, hopefully COVID will be gone by then. Right. I'm sure mm -hmm. that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> no, and by the time we get to the to the end of July, middle end of July time frame, if people wanted to get vaccinated, they will have had the opportunity, even right. if it got delayed early on. Mm -hmm. So I think we will have given it enough time. Any more discussion? I'm in favor of this. Um, and you want to start this these new hours on May 24th, right. 2021, be... which is a Monday. Next Monday. Any other comments, questions? Thank you very much for your hard work and looking at that yes. relative Thank to our other towns in the area or in the smaller towns like yourselves. Okay, old business. Um, there's files on roads. That's we've already taken care of that one. Town office hours, that one. Uh, posting of meeting minutes and board of selectmen's meeting recordings. Um, it looks like we're a couple weeks back. And one of the questions I have is because this is actually up on YouTube and it's out there for the world to see, is there a way we can get it a, like only a week old rather than two weeks old? Or what are your thoughts? Yes, I think that's doable. Okay. Yeah, so we send them the minutes once they're approved. We, right after this meeting, we'll take the signed minutes, send them to Teresa. Okay. And um, then I don't know how long it takes her to put them up there. She's usually within 24 hours. Yeah, usually pretty quick. And I just need to work on doing the videos a little quicker. Okay. And do you know with our particular Zoom contract, if I'm actually Zooming into the call, can I physically record from my end that conversation? Only if I give you permission. Is there any reason why we wouldn't want to give permission? If it's a public meeting, we're putting it up, we're going to disclose it. What would be the negative, if any? I don't know if there would be any. Let me find out. All right, do, do a little homework to find out what the process would be on that. Because I'm thinking if somebody basically wanted to watch it and record it at the same time, they could do that rather than waiting for us to put it up within a couple of days. So. Yeah, my, my only thought is um, having somewhat control because on YouTube I put it so that people can't take it and splice it and take comments out of sequence, you know, and Good consideration. Make, it, make it sound like sometimes if you don't hear a whole conversation you take something out of context it can sound not good and we don't need to give facebook water i understand that one and agree with it okay and the thought of uh government oversight coming in that they use youtube we're using youtube i don't know how many times that's why i asked them the question it's like somebody wanted to record our sessions and put it up on their site i mean, I haven't got a big issue with that, except for the slice and splice part of it. Mm -hmm. I do have a concern about that. Um, we also were approached a couple weeks ago, Lenny, by the uh, Wolfboro Community Television Network to become part of their network, which means the meetings would be basically public television when we do them yeah. um, and available. So I, I, I'm not saying no to government oversight, but we pay some serious money for this system last year, plus we've been approached. I want to kind of take a look at all three of them and figure out how we can potentially use them to our best advantage. No, I mean, he was always, always he had Coleman, uh, had Como, so I just, yeah. you know, until COVID hit. Yeah. Right. And then we went and spent the money to yeah. basically capture a system. So I'm not, you know, I think we just need to take a look at all three of the options and figure out do we want to use one, two, or three, or right whatever we might do. Um, Teresa Sonic and I also, um, I, I believe it's on YouTube that I would need to increase our account. I don't know how much that would be, but the meeting would be streaming live on YouTube. So it would, as soon as the meeting ended, it would be there. 
it wouldn't be a three-step process for me to do it. Okay. It would take away the manual. I think the sooner on that one, the better. Um, I'd like to get the information out to the public as soon as we can get it out there. Uh, although I got to tell you, I was looking at a couple of towns around us and looking at their websites yesterday. A number of them are two, two to four or five weeks old and getting their information from a video standpoint posted up and running. Um, the towns that are using a TV service, like Conway, it's basically, it's there. It's because they're using that particular service. So that's why I think we should take a look at everything. Um, transfer station stickers. I believe we're coming up on June 1. And I believe we have the new stickers in. Do the transfer station folks have a clipboard with the information they need to gather and we could actually start selling those this week. We have been since February. Okay. Um, have they been doing it since February? Yes. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. So they they bring me um, a full sheet when they have them and Mark is part of his weekly deposits. Um, I think what the board may want to reconsider is the seasonal sticker because I our terms, our rules say that it's basically Memorial Day to Labor Day, and people start coming in in April and leaving in October. So the transfer station guys are like, well, it's not valid. Um, it's the same price. I don't really. I actually have that as one of the work session agenda items for next week. Okay, awesome. Um, we need to update that. This item. I'll get into it when we get further down here, but yeah, I think you definitely need to address it. If they're paying a buck, you know, the fact that they're paying a dollar, they should be able to, to get in any time of year, in my opinion only. Um, JP Pest Control, we signed the contract this morning on that. Um, this is the town hall spraying for the powder post beetle population under the building. And I have also, two items that I pulled them out of the signature folder because we haven't talked about them at all. Um, as part of my dealing with JP Pest Control on the library building, I also found out that neither one of the fire stations have any pest control work being done on them at all. Oh. Um, and we do do the library, we do this office, and I'm thinking we should add the fire departments unless the chief has a reason why we shouldn't. I requested like two years ago and I was told no. Okay. Um, they, you got a mouse problem? Oh, yes. Yeah. They do quarterly treatments and they're 68 bucks a quarter per building. Yeah. But yeah. I, based on the activity I see around here with rodents, I think we should be doing that. Yes. Okay. Uh, any reason why I shouldn't sign these? We need to just sign a contract and get back on? Okay. 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 We'll take care of that today then on that one. Um, Audrey, with, with the reporting that you uh, talked about with revenue as well as budget to actual, um, can we also do some kind of highlight of unpaid taxes, how much we owe yeah. each year in the last three years? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's important for the townspeople to understand the volume of unpaid taxes out there. That money's been appropriated to spend annually against town operating budgets. And when you don't have several hundred thousand dollars, it means you can't do some of the work you thought you were going to be able to do. All right. Um, that's what I had for old business. How about new business? <laughs> Anything? It's all good. Man. Good. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. I got some. <laughs> um, so one of the things I want to take a look at is posting up on the form and docs area on the website a template agenda master template. So if somebody wants to know what kind of the order we're going to cover things in, here's what it's going to be. It will not be specific per meeting. It'll be a, a master. Is there value in doing that uh, from a transparency standpoint? It, it's a work item one time, but if we don't think it's needed, then I'm okay. So the general won't have anything on what we're talking about? No, it, it'll basically be the big, the bigger brackets. So like today, um, it'll say like number two, approval of minutes. It won't specifically have a date in it. 
approval of the manifest, it's just one of a specific dollar amount. It'll have those phrases, but without the specific dollar figures. I think we're talking about transparency. I think they should be on here. Well, the problem going to be is how much additional workload do we want to pay for to do it? So there's a cost benefit analysis. Yes. How much additional workload would it be to change out and post that every single week? versus doing the master template that's a once and done. You're saying just just the uh, order in which we're going to... Correct. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be just blind. Yeah, it's basically a blind one. Yeah. But at least it'll give people an idea of how we're going to address stuff. Okay. And I'm thinking there may be value to that. Yeah, you just on the website, it should it's, no, no big deal cost-wise. Right, and so it'll be a one-time setup. Yeah. Okay. All right, Audrey, can you yeah. take a look at that, please? Okay. Right. Um, the other thing that I wanted to take a look at is, um, discussion on work assignments or responsibilities to help share and load. These were the categories I came up with. I threw some names in there, but we could change the names. Um, so the categories I had were historic town hall library project, roads and bridges, town cemetery, transfer station, capital improvement plan, historic district commission, budget committee, Carroll County broadband committee, planning board, health officer, zoning board of adjustment. So I'll give you a few minutes does, to take a look at it. Does the zoning board have a select one no, I don't no. think they, they don't. Perfect. No. Then that one's gone. <laughs> I was trying to be all inclusive so we could subtract where if we could. Thank you. You need your money. Discussion. Health officer. Yes. Right now I'm a deputy health officer. Yes. Who's going to be the? Lenny, would you be a deputy health officer? officer? The health officer doesn't have to be a selector. Mike could Mike still right now, right? He is. Yeah. I mean, he could stay if he wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, no, no, I, I, yeah. I'm with you on that one. No, I mean, if he don't want to, then we get a new one. But if he don't mind doing it, I, I think he'd be okay doing it because we actually have some in court legal actions going on right yeah. now under that position. And he's been totally immersed in that entire process with the three or four different entities yeah. in court. Um, I mean, it doesn't, nothing says it has to be a select. No, it could be nope. anybody. Perfect. Right. Yeah. I like that. Too. Good. I mean, keep, keep going. I like the way you're delegating and breaking stuff off. Um, he doesn't want to do it, then we'll have to get somebody else. I yeah. suspect. I don't know. Yeah. We'll ask. The Carroll County broadband isn't a big deal. I mean, it's like once every couple months, if, if anything. And it's usually about a two to three hour meeting somewhere here in the county. And they will need to, not too far down the road, come up with a couple of names of people that will not be one of them. They'll be involved with the new organizational discussion uh, over the next several months. So we don't need to do that one today, but we will need to think about having a second person. I have no problem with these. No. Okay, good. Um, then we'll take the ZBA item off and we'll add Mike's name to the health officer pending his <laughs> agreement to that. I like that. I hope we can do that with some other stuff too. Well, if that takes one off from Tom, I could give up one of mine to Tom. <laughs> I mean, I'm on there five times. So. Well, well, four times. And, and my only thinking on that was the size of 
the roads and bridge part of it, because that's a probably going to be a roughly 50 to 20 hour a week commitment based on the way activity is right now. Yeah. Oh, and that was the way I listed. That was the reason yeah. I listed it that way. You lost on it too. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone um, address cemetery with me? Because I had a call last week with a cemetery question, and I didn't know who to reach out to. Actually, Lenny was the person to reach out to, but you didn't know that. I did not know. I need to say, well, but they, I'm only in charge of the town cemetery. Woodland, um, Woodland. Woodland. Yeah. Yeah, it's the only one I'm in charge of, but everybody calls me with any cemetery question, no matter which cemetery it is. I guess there was an internment up there and it was a mess and there was dirt on headstones and the gentleman was going to go up and clean it up, but that's, I didn't know what to tell him. I don't know who they interred, but... And, and we updated the documentation around purchasing plots and things like that a year ago when he was involved with the wording of that. Right, that I know how so to do. You just need to revisit that letter and that wording on that. I don't think so. Uh, but we ought to make it aware that, I mean, there's a lot of, most everybody's cremated nowadays. If the family does the remains in the ground, there's supposed to be a cemetery trustee present to witness it. Oh. I mean, if you have an undertaker doing the internment, yeah. um, they send the thing form to the town. But Mm -hmm. If it's the, the uh, well, they used to, I don't know if they do anymore, but, um, but if it's a family that does it, yeah. it's supposed to be a town trustee, I mean, a library trustee. Uh, a library. <laughs> <Some areas. laughs> yeah. yeah, I never read that too, because it was an issue up the street here. Yeah. Uh, it would be allowed, you might have spoke to you on that. Mm. If they didn't get a trustee, they just went and told the guy we had a right day. Yeah, and it didn't go well. Yeah, they have their own trustees. So. Yeah, for that, but yeah, I was just use an example. Yeah. Exactly. One across from my house is they get their own trustees too. So. But uh, where the board of selectmen and the cemetery trustees for the town, and, yeah. one one of the selectmen should be present. Mm -hmm. family does it. Can you forward just what one something? No, I'm hoping that's what he was doing right now. As in, as of last week. Okay. And then we need to add it to the list. Um, not only the grading gravel or something, but you said it was a stone right near where the gate is. It's yeah. There's rather high it. coming out of the ground for a low slung car and take the bottom of the car out. If you know. Has anybody been notified about this yet? No. Well, I, well, Lenny, I uh, saw the, when they were doing Hogs Road. I asked them if they were going to do anything there. And they were going to call Ron or something. Why do we call them? Yeah. All right. Um, Audrey and Darlene are going to be working on a process um, so that some of the reading and things we're doing now will actually get in on Friday or Monday. So you're going to have to sit here doing it. Um, you can see it ahead of time. So I'll we'll cut down on the amount of physically sitting here and doing something because you'll have it ahead of time to do that. Um, next item I have is um, a guideline for um, seeing if we can retain Mr. Cahalan in a non-paid, non-consulting status. Uh, if you've got one, everybody got one? Okay, good. Um, I had a discussion with NHMA last week at the Legal Council um, about the possibility and the process for being able to leverage existing citizen talent on projects. And his essential comment to me was, we need to have um, something documented, which would define who the person is, what they would be working on and select board oversight of the person. I also added a reporting component to it. So 
one of the things that I want to do is basically have you look at this if you didn't read it already. And the number of projects that are listed, um, I will read them while you're reading. The Snow Road Bridge Replacement Project, the Pine River Road Emergency Culvert Repair Project, the Bailey Road Culvert Replacement Contract or, uh, um, Project, the Transfer Station Used Oil Grant Program, Coordinating the Calcium Chloride Treatment, Coordinating the Town Road Crack Sealing Treatment, Working with New Hampshire DOT at the, for the work at Route 153 and Huntress Brick Road and possible reconstruction there. Taking a look at if we get to it at some point in time this year with any particular government funds that might come our way that are unallocated. Look at the fire station two parking lot paving project and health officer active investigation and legal action. So the last one, let me go right along the lines of what you were recommending for putting Mike's name on. My thought is that whichever piece he's working on based on whatever assignment from a selectman standpoint, he would have to work with that selectman. And I am going to be working on and I handed out there as you can see it. Transparency about what, what's been going on in town, I think is extremely important. So even though we've had volumes and volumes of stuff going on, the citizenry has not really been kept aware of all the different things that are going on. So one of the things that I would like to institute, and it can be in this format, bullet point with color code condition, or some other format, but require in at least in every two week period, more often, depending upon the activity that's going on, like Snow Road Bridge should be weekly, not every two weeks. Um, a reporting to the selectmen who then can provide that, this report or a report to this board for our review, just so we say what's going on. And if you're in agreement with that, I would also like to try and figure out how we might be able to post copy of the document online. And I don't know what kind of workload that would be. I don't know what it would look like yet, but if we can figure out a way to put it up on the internet, it'll provide better transparency for people to see exactly what's going on with different activity. What do you think? Yeah, the more information we can get out there, the better. Yeah. So people can be informed of what's going on. I listened to that on Saturday. I was been trying to think about what we could do to do that. Oh, that was a good idea. Can, can we get it online now? Yes, we can't. It, what it amounts to is what would it look like? How much of a workload it's going to be? How can we make it efficient? And I don't want to basically spend like four hours a week now just loading a, or every other week loading a document. Right. That's not efficient. What about an update on the weekly uh, minutes? Make sure we cover any updates in the meeting. Yeah, That'll we be can be recorded in the minutes for people to. We can do that too. I'll also That's see it on here if we're talking about it on a Tuesday. Right. And I would fully expect on some of the stuff that's going on that we would need to have him in here, either in public or non-public, if it's a legal action in non-public. But um, there may be times when, when we decided, hey, we want him in here to ask him more detailed questions. Now, you can do this for every project, though. You want to do where? What to? I'm starting out with the list that's on here. Okay. The answer to your question is yes, I plan on doing the same thing. So. My daughter and I were talking the other day. There is no sense of me coming in here weekly and talking about the historic town hall project and what we're doing. Do it <laughs> as a every two weeks or once a month, but then have it as a detailed kind of thing rather than just talk about it every week. So certain big items I think should be weekly, but others can be every two or once a month. In my thought. Discussion, questions. I like the idea, like I said. Um, and the nice thing about this, this is ours. So if we decide 
we're done, we're headed down a path that we don't like. What's the path we're headed down? We can just change the path. Well, just because we say we're going to start down this path, we're going to walk into it forever. It's going to change in the world over time. And quite frankly, hopefully we can get additional volunteers who will be willing to come forward and maybe we can pick up pieces of some of this. Yeah. And I was thinking for transparency purposes, if everybody's agreeable, we will take this document and actually add it as an appendix to the minutes for this week so that anybody that wants to read it can read it. It's important to make sure people understand exactly what's going on. Correct. I have some thoughts on the status, maybe. It's my business background, but I would be interested to know if it's in discussion, out to bid, awarded, in process, complete. I'm good. This is the first shot. Something like that. Some the reporting form. You know, because I'm if okay. it's on target, what is that target? So. I think what people like to see, um, I'm thinking of like a stand and gravel one in my other town. People want to know, has it started out there yet? Is it, you know, estimate to complete? So having more um, I'm good. dates. Was there a form that? You... I don't think they used a form. Okay. Um, I want to try and keep it high level. Yeah. Like one of the things I'm worried about it takes 35 minutes to fill out one report for a week. I don't want to, that, that's like a, not a good use of time. No, but updating dates, like if Snow yep. Road was to push out a month, that's an important thing to right. know. Okay. And instead of being in the text, having a quick list of, oh, okay, it's coming up, it was delayed, things like that. I'm good. But I'll put my thinking cap on. And yeah, listen, well, do you want to yeah. work on? Darling has work? experience in a couple other towns Perfect. as well. Yep. And then once that discussion takes place, we'll bring it back here and see what we want. And that was just an example of you know, using Star Road. Right, it's just an example. <laughs> it hasn't been pushed it's up. It's not delayed. <laughs> <laughs> Only one day. <laughs> Any other thoughts? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Any additional questions? Not by me. No. Good with it? All right. Then we'll. Why don't we make a motion to accept the Board of Selectmen's operating guidelines for having Simpsons work with us on town related projects? I'll select how second. That's, oh, a, that's a volunteer. It's well, that's why in it you yeah. see it. It says this is no payment, right. no consulting contract, no nothing. Because I was worried about did we need to have something formally in place? And the NHMA attorney said no. As long as the selectmen are providing the oversight to what's going on, and there is reporting. And that person would be covered under the town's concern. They would be, yes. Yep. All those in favor? Full or aye? Aye. Good. Thank you. And uh, I'll do my darndest to twist his arm for the help officer. Thank you. Please. Sooner than really later. Um, town email addresses. Um, Lenny's got a new town email address. Tom, you've got one. Audrey will work with both of you to get set up. In your case, because of that computer we talked about the other day, we'll wait until that's done, but it'll all be set up when, when you get the computer. Uh, so that'll happen. Um, the reason we're doing this, Lenny, is we discovered a couple years ago we had some cybersecurity issues and lack of retention of certain records by using the town email address for anything related to the town business, it's automatically captured and archived. And that way, if there's any kind of 91A request for information, copies of emails, what went back and forth, what the attachments were, we'll have it all. Um, and we were in a position where we had that covered without that process. So, and Audrey will work with you to get that set up from that standpoint. That kind of set up, huh? Um, if you respond to me, then I don't know who you are. Didn't I? Did I? I don't think so. I did to sure. Teresa. She said, okay. yeah. All right. Yes. 
Perfect. But then I never heard back, so maybe she never got it. Well, she sent me a note saying it was set up and confirmed, but um, yeah. All right. As soon as we start talking, I'm going to send me a okay. text, text and yeah. I'll check it when I get home. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's see. Now, will we get a new update list of all the emails? Emails, oh, yeah, for, for, the, for the office part. We yeah. have emails, phone numbers, contact right. information. Yeah. Right. It's recently been updated. We'll just take Mike's stuff out and we're actually. We'll move Mike's down to a, a citizen line, um, but we'll update the, the boards. Okay, um, that's all I had for new business today, except the work session next week I'd like to have after the meeting. Um, part of that will be, what did we end up, you know, the workload that we talked about today, um, how did it work for the week? The week may not be telling, but it also might be telling. Um, I also want to get an update on the used oil containment item. Mm -hmm. um, we know there's a grant possibility, but I believe it has to be written like real soon to get it. Okay. Um, and then I want to talk about the research work we did last year relative to the, con to the containers. I want to make sure Lenny has all that information and right. he's on board with it. I got a hold on all that stuff too. Like this. Okay, that'd be great. Okay. So we, we did a bunch of research and um, not only around the building of that thing, but also the oil used oil container. And one of the things that we're going to take a look at is a um, government approved design relative to steel that will have two tanks, 250 gallons a piece, that will be able to set inside. Uh, that particular overhang right now, since we know it's watertight. And we know it's not watertight right now because right. apparently that. I've gone through. Somebody was telling me that the pipe on the top apparently yeah. drops down, so we got to fill it with concrete, do something yeah. to get it taken care of. Um, the other thing I want to do too is review the transfer station ordinance language for the tweak. So, um, one item is is the red sticker piece. We basically have a sticker for non-seasonal folks um, that has to be picked up here because they do they're not a resident of the town, so they don't get issued up at the transfer station. Um, I think right now it's a limitation. We just we should be 12 months out of the year as far as I'm concerned, but we'll talk about that. I also asked Bill Rabel um, to take a look at it and talk to the the guys at the station, based on what we've identified in there for the types of uh, materials to recycle or demo or bring in, what are we missing that might be something that people are confused on? Uh, like, like people bringing in used lawnmowers. Um, we really haven't addressed how we handle that at this point. So that was one example that Bill threw out. So, I will on Wednesday ask them to give me that information by the weekend or. Well, Mike has a ring time, but I met with Mike on that. You did? There was riding lawn mowers that wasn't listed. Well, I wasn't was writing. Furnaces. And I, I asked Bill to do it right so okay. you had something to reference rather than just kind of like this one talked and this one talked. Because right. we're going to change that brochure to take on the wall. Yep, we need to do that too. So it's, it's this is not a big tweak item. Right. It's just we need to kind of get it. A little upgraded for some of the stuff that's actually taking place there at the transfer station. Um, and we'll do that. The personnel policy question I have for Audrey we know we've got that in the draft format, it's about half done. I'm thinking of, we need to share that with money and kind of review what we've talked about so far. And then uh, you, Grace, and I can, can do the end of those drafts on the other 50% of it, and then bring it back to the board for discussion. Personnel policy hasn't been updated in a long time, so it needs, it needs some tweaks in it. Um, Deanna has expressed a desire to have the safe, this walking safe, the steel one, that's out in the PD right now for use for her area, um, and have it brought back in and put in the utility closet. 
it has never been opened that nobody knows over the last 10 or 15 years. Um, last year, there was some homework done uh, by calling the safe company directly. They gave, they provided the name of a contact person. We said he would come in and put a brand new lock, open it and put a brand new lock in it for $675. Um, unfortunately, we don't have that specific contact information anymore. So we had to start from scratch. So would one of you be willing to pick that up and chase down the company and see if we can get a contact for it? Yeah. All right. Tom? Mm -hmm. uh, the, name, the name of the elephant is right on the outside of the safe. Yeah, I got to enjoy when you're going in there. All right. I get the info. Yeah. And uh, I took a picture the other day. I'll send it to you so you'll actually have a picture of it too. Um, and then that'll give Deanna her thing. Um, I had started to do some work with our town energy alliance. I want to just provide an update on that. I'm not sure that would be the best way for us to go, but I want to talk about what it is and what we might want to do. Um, and why, um, you know, walk, <coughs> walk in the price fall around people at next year or let it run like we have in the past with the rack rate and let the market determine where we're at. Uh, Audrey covered the other piece of that. Okay, that's all I had for agenda for next week. Is there anything else that anybody else wants to add to it? We'll get through what we can get through. We want to spend all day doing it. I figure we spend an hour, hour and a half in a work session, get done what we get done, and if not, we can move into the following week. If the selectmen find it um, tedious to read on their computers, don't want to print things, they can. Um, come in and do signatures prior to the meeting. Um, as long as you're not in here two at a time, you know, you can sign a lot that, and it will pre help prevent um, the quiet time at the beginning of the meeting. And the goal that Darlene and I have is to have the packages already on Friday night. So we've already started that if we get a bill in our email or the U.S. mail on Monday morning, it's not included in the manifest. It can wait a week. So um, we're trying to be really all set. The only thing that's dependent on Mondays is the payroll. So the amount of the manifest. And that pretty much takes up the whole day, right? Um, not so much. Okay, we're, good. We're, get, we're getting it down. Good. Every once in a while, like yesterday, you know, the printer ran out of ink. So half the paycheck has to right on them. We'll figure it out. Okay. All right. Anything else on the new business? Randy, do you have anything you want to bring to the table? Yes. Um, now that the word that we get tape on coverage, we're getting requests from surrounding towns on what some of their people could work over here. So I told you on this, no problem, as long as they qualify. I mean, the question would be should they be filling out a Fire department application or town application? They can, they can fill out a fire department, but they're also going to need to fill out W-9s and do right. the whole employment process procedure. Right. I understand that. W-2s, 9s. Um, you have a new employee, quote unquote, new employee act for the fire department? We have applications to join the fire department. Okay. okay. Yep. And background checks. So whoever comes through is basically yep. your, your document, background check, and um, the W-9 and the PD, I, for the most part, can probably do the background checks for us. All right. Would that be okay, Chief? Okay. So how do you feel about it? Do you want to do that or not do that? No, we, by a lot, you're going to enter people's homes, you have to have a background check. Yep. No, 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 I'm going to not having, oh. having outside people. I'm okay with that. Me too, because it'll give us that coverage potential. Um, like you say, you want to help during a day, which is when we need it. And if they're filing out a fire department application, it looks like our roster bigger than this. So potentially, do they also become additional fire department personnel that could be leveraged in the event of an emergency? Yeah. Okay. Right. Do you have a, I'm just asking this broad question. Do you have any idea on the kind of the number you want to cap out at? So that it doesn't become unmanageable due to volume of people? I have given a thought. Um, basically, there's 10 shifts per week. 
Uh, the most anyone could take would be two, because if they go over that, then they consider an employee full time, whatever, there's too many hours. Um, so we're going to have a meeting tomorrow night with our people, see how many we'll commit right now. We want to get going June 1st. So, um, then I'm going to contact the people who contacted me and inform them that, yeah, I come in to fill this, that. So, uh, as far as the total number, I really need that thought. Well, I'm just kind of throwing it out at some point. Right. I, you know, having 25 or 30 people might be a little. Well, that's the case. We have too many people who are going to get disgruntled and they're not going to bother to sign up. Okay. okay, you got it. All right. So, uh, how does the rest of the board feel about leveraging outside talent? I got no problem. You know, I think we're going to have to because you won't have it in town talent. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't have enough people. I, I agree. That's what I thought. That's like, all right. Good. So she can contact with Audrey. And... Okay. Yeah. Oh, you do sort of a vetting process with these people? Uh, check to make sure their references of what they say they have. Wait. Yeah. I was fellow state uh, fire academy. Yeah. They have a list of everybody's certifications. And then we'll do a specific background check with two. Do you want one of us at your meeting tomorrow night? Or no? Don't need to be. Okay. Because after our meeting, we're going right into the training, which EMS training. Yeah. If you want to be town building, you're welcome. Open, open to the public. Yeah. No, I didn't know if you wanted one of, one of us there. It's up to you. It's not required. <laughs> Never hurts. I mean, quite frankly, there's X stuff that's going on that if you think we might want to start researching or something, we get the plan. Uh, your call. Good. Anything else? No. Nope. Super. What what time is it? You start at six? The meeting starts at six thirty. Six thirty. Yep. Yeah. I'll show up. Okay. Good. Because you did. There's two things going on tomorrow. Anyway. You have to start on the town hall project tomorrow night, and there's a budget and tomorrow night. Tonight. Tonight. The budget's tonight. Tonight? Oh, yeah. I thought it was tomorrow night. No, tonight. Yeah. I was trying to make it so that we didn't have anything other than, I didn't really bring this meeting was tomorrow night. Yeah, the historic town hall project meeting will be tomorrow night for the month. Mm -hmm. well, you want me to go there? Are we going to start? Or? No, I'm just. Okay, walk down the. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Take a scroll after that. Um, Chief, anything else on from a police department? Uh, just that we're you know we're receiving speed complaints and things like that on various roads, and we're we're doing our best to get out there and take care of them and address them as they come in. So um, you know we're some of our part timers right now. The hours they could put in are. A little bit limited due to responsibilities elsewhere. We're working to rectify that a little bit, so just bear with us and have a little patience. But the guys are out there and they're they're found on the pavement. So good. Uh, other than that, nothing major. Nothing right. major. We're, we're in good shape. Um, and I know we had a major incident last week and a vehicle we did. crashes and potential felony warrants, whatever. We did. We had a we had a two car motor vehicle accident on Pine River Road. Um, it, at this point, it appears that it might have been. A road rage incident um and one of the drivers has since been arrested i'm um, in charge with a, with a few felony counts so. okay good. good one yeah are we gonna uh, see the cop on the box again this summer oh yeah one's out already oh okay we have one out and we have a uh, the new one in we're just trying to figure out how to program it okay. and we'll get that out as well great but, yeah we have had that one out in probably three different locations at this point Excellent. So, yeah, yeah, they seem to be effective from what I'm hearing. Hey, well, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. come flying around the corner and see that. They, they usually do. come right off the pedal. They do. They do. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> some, yeah, some people can make, yeah. uh, make a game out of it. But. <laughs> all right. Um, that's all I had for new business. Um, public comment. Do we have anybody on the line? We have um, participants, if anyone wants to raise their hand or put a note in the chat box, if they would like to speak, I'll unmute you. 
Would you like public comment? Mm -hmm. Please. So I Down court, Deanna. Sorry. I heard you say that I wanted to put the safe in my back closet. Yes. That is Dave's office now. All right. So, so I put. had no intention of putting it in there. Oh, okay. I'm trying to point. free up space. Yep. And I thought wherever it's sitting right now, could I use it, leave it where it is? I don't Except know. you won't be able to get into it because it's inside the police department. Oh. So we gotta we gotta move it. Okay, so Something. that might take some more oh. discussion. That's okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, I think it's going to take a little bit for us to get the, the guy out here to change the lock on it anyway. Okay. So it'll give us a few weeks to, to noodle around where you want it. Okay. I mean, we can put it in here if you need it. I mean, yeah, I've on been that. working on getting things moved and organized so we can free up more space because we're having trouble with storage. All right. Yeah, I misunderstood. I thought that's where it was going to go was in the utility. At, at one point it was, but now that that's Dave's uh, office. Okay. We're going to put Dave in the kitchen. <laughs> He's in there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Good. just thank you. Yeah. Great. Audrey, are you on the line? No, no one's putting anything in the chat box or raising. Okay. And non public, do we have any? That gets us down to number 13, which says in German. Is there anything else we need to cover today? I hear a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? All right. All right. Thank you very much, folks. Have a great week. Wow. Can't give me a second. Yeah. <laughs> the goal, even on a heavy week, is under two hours. I'm just doing a bunch of work. Yeah.